everybody, Elizabeth Merrick here, and I am going to show you guys today how to make wafer paper flowers. Beautiful. Aren't those gorgeous? They're so light, too. They like weigh nothing. Uh, wafer paper flowers are made from wafer paper. Wafer paper is an edible, I don't know, like potato starch paper. Um, people have used it for years and years for candy making. Um, and it has recently just blown up and it has become like this super cool thing that people are using to make flowers and like you can do edible images on them. But it has its downsides. It's got like really weird quirky things about it. It doesn't like water, but it also loves water. I don't know. You just It's just like a fine balance between turning into a gooey mess and becoming something beautiful. So, I have been experimenting for months and months. Um, trying to crack the wafer paper code and I have come up with three flowers Plus some foliage that I think that you guys would enjoy making and it's not too difficult I swear to God it is not difficult and they make beautiful bouquets for like perhaps Valentine's Day, maybe hmm, Ideas so you can put these on a cake or you could like do them individually and just put them on cupcakes or you can just make one and put it into a bouquet and say, hello, I love you. Here are some pretty flowers that I made with my hands. I'm amazing. So let us get started. You're gonna need some wafer paper. Um, the link is in the description down below. And you will need the templates. Um, if you are a Patreon member, also link down below, then you get the templates for free. Lucky you. But if you are not a Patreon member, then you have to buy them. So those are in the Etsy link for you. Or you become a Patreon member and get them for free. So let us get started and I will begin showing you the ways of wafer paper. Hello my sugar geeks and welcome to uh, my very first Patreon show. And uh, this, to kick off um, these types of tutorials, they're gonna be longer and more in depth. Uh, I am going to go over some wafer paper flower techniques. These are very popular right now. Um, they're made with a wa wafer paper, which is like a, a potato starch. And um, they are edible, but you know, you wouldn't exactly eat this because it's very soft and gets gooey. But the, the idea is that it is safe to put on edible uh, materials like cupcakes or cakes or whatever and plus they're just really cool this is really cool so I've got like a peony or like a spider anemone not a peony spider anemone right here and I've got a rose and I've got a little filler flower it kind of looks like a cherry blossom kind of not I don't know but it's it's nice and and fluffy and nice to put in between kind of all of our other flowers so it kind of fills it out and you can make little bouquets. So these would be great to give as a gift to your um, Valentine. And I think that they would really appreciate the time and effort that you put into making these. So let's get started. Let's start with the easy one. So uh, believe it or not, this guy is the easiest one. And this is the, um, the spider anemone. And we start off by making a center. And we're gonna make a center using something called flower stamens. And I'll have a link down in the description as to where you can buy these. But they're just like little little flower stamens that, pe that people use for sugar flowers. So we're going to take a few of those. A few, 10, five, whatever you feel like is, you wanna do. And a little piece of uh, floral wire. This is a fabric wrapped piece of um, wire and again the link will be down in the description so you can see where you get that and then we're also going to need some floral tape this is non-toxic and it's perfectly safe to use on edible materials so don't stress out so we're going to um, bend these in half take our floral wire just bend that over and twist it I'm just securing these these wires just like that now um, these kind of spray out and don't look so great, so I usually will um, secure these with a little bit of floral tape. 
you can use white or green, whatever you prefer. Now floral tape, when you tear it off, it's not sticky. You gotta stretch it to activate the stickiness. So if you're saying, mom, my floral tape is not sticking, that is the problem. Let's go ahead and roll that up. And we have our little stamen. So that's the beginning of our, our flower. The next thing on the list is to actually create our petals. And you're gonna start with a piece of wafer paper. You can start with colored paper or white paper. And I'll put a link down below in the description as to where you can buy colored paper. Um, but I usually just go with the white. I'm going to cut one slightly thinner piece to be our center. And then split the other two in half. So you can see that this one is slightly shorter. Slightly shorter than the other ones. And that just looks nicer. I'm gonna line up all of the bottom parts. And I'm going to just take my scissors. And you don't cut all the way through. You're just gonna make strips. So you have three little pieces that are like this. And now we're going to curl them so that we end up with three little pieces that look like this. Ooh, how do we do that? Well, wafer paper's friend is water and its enemy is also water. So we need to get these damp and there's a couple ways that we can do that. One of them is to just use a water and a paintbrush. Now, you, it might take you a couple of tries to get this down. So if yours disintegrates into nothing, do not stress, just try with another piece. It does not take very much water for, for, for action to start happening. Um, you won't see it right away, but it will start to happen. So I just got a little bit of water on my brush here, and I'm just gonna lightly brush halfway you know, up here with some water. And at first, nothing is happening. But as that water dries, it causes the wafer paper to crinkle up. See, you can already see that it's starting to crinkle up. I kind of give it a shake sometimes to make sure my petals are not stuck together. Okay, so our wafer paper is all wrinkled up and ready to be turned into a, uh, uh, to our flower. Um, before we do that, I'm gonna show you the other way that I um, wrinkle up my wafer paper, and that's with an airbrush, an airbrush and just a little bit of water. Um, so I feel like that just kind of applies the water a little bit more evenly, and uh, you get more of a curl and less of a wrinkle. So um, uh, let's go uh, to the airbrush, and I'll show you how I do that part. Okay, I have my cut piece of wafer paper. Sorry, it's so dark, I'm in my spray booth. And here's my airbrush, and I'm just going to airbrush a light coating of water just right on the top. Oops, it's gonna blow away. Okay, so I'm just gonna let you guys watch this going to kind of start to curl up and bubble and you don't want to put too much water on there uh, otherwise it will get too wet and it will stick and then just in a few minutes it will look like that so that's one way of applying the water um, with an airbrush instead of with a paintbrush okay so we have our three pieces of wafer paper uh, that has been wrinkled up and we have our stamen and I'm also going to use a small skewer to, per to make basically our stem of our flower. So I'm going to get that, move my scissors, got my floral tape and this time I'm going to use gum glue to do my gluing and this is just water with a little bit of Tylos 
um, powder added into it. Uh, you can get that online, or you could just use water, but it does tend to make it a little bit gummier and stickier. So I'm going to start with my smallest, my smallest petals first, and I'm just going to get the whole base of this wet. Just a nice, good strip of gum glue. And uh, with the petals curling towards me and facing to my right, I'm going to take my stamen, set that about right that far, and I'm just going to start rolling that up. And your wafer paper might crack a little bit in this stage. See mine's cracking a little bit. doesn't matter. Just keep going. Keep rolling. This is a flower. It's natural. It doesn't need to be perfect. You see how it's kind of crumpling up like that? It's fine. Just keep going. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Until we get all the way to the end. Oh, I'm getting a little dry here, so I'm going to add a little bit. A little bit more gum glue. Ah, I tore it. Oh well, no problem. It all kind of glues back together. <laughs> all right, so that's our first layer. Reminds me of those like things you put on turkey legs. I don't know. So that's the first one. And the next one is gonna go exactly the same. And believe it or not, the third one is gonna go exactly the same. So let's add those on. Okay, so we've got our three layers uh, on there. And I'm just gonna kinda smash this down a little bit. Gets a little bulky. And then I'm gonna take our little skewer friend and just poke that right in the bottom. Just kind of stab it in there. And then take some of our floral tape, give it a good stretch to activate the glue. And I'm just going to wrap that around the base of the flower. And this helps to keep it looking um, clean and also sort of adds to that floral look. You, didn't, you don't have to add on a stem, if you don't want to. You could also add on a toothpick. Like um, I put a toothpick on this one so that I could stab it into a flower, uh, to a cake. Or you could just leave it without any toothpicks or anything and just put it on top of like, like a, a cake just all by itself. Oops, I missed a spot. Okay. Just pulling and stretching, pulling and stretching. Add a little bit more. Good enough, I say. So we got our little flower. Don't worry about any of these petals that fell off. And then the last thing to do is to push out our inner petals. Push, push them out so they get fluffier. Okay, so there we have it, beautiful. Now if you wanted to add a little bit of color, whoa, throw stuff around. You can add a little bit of uh, petal dust. I get mine from the Sugar Art. They are beautiful bright colors. Just pour a little bit into any kind of container and just use a nice fluffy brush. Load it up. And just dab it on there. Just dab it on there. Just like that. Good. Good, good, good. Looking beautiful. So, we have one flower in our bouquet. We have many more to go. There is our, our wafer paper spider anemone. One down. Another thing I wanted to mention, if you want to add some color to your anemones, you can also make you can also airbrush the um, wafer paper after you cut it. If you have an airbrush, if you don't have an airbrush, you can just use the dust to to dust it. Add as more or as little as or as much color as you want. But if you have an airbrush, you can lightly airbrush the wafer paper to give it some color. 
um, it w if you use actual airbrush color, it won't make it curl or wrinkle too much. Just do light coats, light coats. And then um, add a little bit of water after you've airbrushed it and let it dry to make it curl. So then you can have pink peonies or pink spider anemones or whatever. The next thing we're gonna make is our little filler flower here. Very cute, cute, cute. And we're going to do that the same way. I'm gonna use a slightly different center here. Just look up floral flower stamens on Google if you don't like the ones that I referenced. But they're easy to find. I'm gonna bend this the same way. Make our center the same exact way. So now we have a list of little flower stem in right here. And I have some pre-formed pink petals that I made, um, I, uh, I made and then pre-airbrushed, and I'll show you how I did that. But first off, I'll show you how to make the flowers. I use one of these handy dandy things. This is a flower punch that I got from Michaels. This is, I believe from the, I don't know, maybe not Martha Stewart, EK, I don't know. It's in the scrapbooking aisle. They have all kinds of these, big ones, little ones. I really like this one because it's fairly large. And uh, you just slip your wafer paper into it like so. And you're able to get perfectly cute little flowers, just like that. Just like that. Amazing. And then once you have your cute little flowers, you can airbrush them and make them colors and then shoot them with some water to make them curl. Or you can just dab on, oops, huh, not gum glue. Oops, bad glues. Okay. Dab on a little bit of water. Just like we did before to make it curl. Just on the tips. Let that dry. Uh, you can also do this with the airbrush. I don't know if I said that, but you could just do this with plain water and pump, hit it with the airbrush. That's usually what I do. Let them curl up and, uh, and then, you know, then apply color or whatever. We have our little center pink buds here. And what all you're going to do, so we're just going to wet the center a little bit. It's a little, a little tender when, it, when it's dry. So by wetting the center, it makes it a little bit softer and easier to slide on to there. So we got one. Add on another. Probably be helpful if my. Ooh, just got so bright all of a sudden. I'm trying out a new spot. I don't know if I like it or not. I feel like it's too sunny over here. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Get this a little wet here. Press those together. Make sure you don't accidentally. Pop this off. And the last one. See how simple, 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 so easy. Very nice, very nice. So we have our little, little filler flower right like that. Pretty, pretty. So these are great to put together with your other flowers to kind of fill out your bouquet. All right. Two flowers down. One more to go. This one's kind of tricky. Okay, so the last flower we're going to make is the rose. The wafer paper rose. How pretty, 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 pretty. This one's a little bit more complicated, but still awesome. Um, if you are a Patreon uh, patron, Patreon patron, 
uh, you will get the free templates to make this rose. Otherwise, you will find the link to where you can purchase these off my Etsy. Uh, they're not very expensive, they're only $2, but if you're a Patreon, then you get to um, get these for free. You get templates for free, woo, very cool. So, um, the templates are very light. I don't know if you can see this at all, but they're very lightly printed onto wafer paper. And I actually just ran this through my regular printer because it's such a small amount. It like does not really make a difference. It's like non-toxic ink, it'll be fine. And I'm just gonna cut these guys out. Cut, 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 cut. I swear they're easy to see once you actually print them out though. This one, and just like that. So I'm gonna cut the rest of these out and we'll put the rows together. Okay, so I've got all my petals cut out and I'm gonna start off with these guys right here, the little double petals. And the first thing we're gonna do is make our very, very center piece, adding a little gum glue. And we're just gonna give this a nice tight spiral, just like that. Okay, just like that. Okay, so we got that rolled up into a spiral. Make sure it's all secure and then we're going to basically continue our roll continue the roll with the next one oops make sure lined up here I'm basically creating the center of our rows see we're going we're getting there So then after we've done two of them, I'm going to now slice all of my petals, the double ones anyways, like so, just like that, <clears throat> and add a little gum glue on the side of each slice, and just fold it over. And this is going to give the petals a little bit of roundness. Go ahead and do that to all of them. Okay, so after we have all of our petals um, rounded on the other side, we're going to apply just a little bit of water like we've done before so that the petals curl up a little bit. Okay, we'll let those dry and curl. And now we're going to fold over our big petals in the same way.
And then after we uh, get those all folded over, you guessed it, we're going to curl the outsides of the petals like we did the other ones. Oh no, they're sticking. That's the thing about wafer paper is it really likes to stick to each other when it's wet. See how those are just basically stuck together? Now I got a tear. Darn it. It's all right. Careful. Don't let them touch. So we're going to get the back wet. And while it's still dry or still wet, I'm going to take one corner and roll it. See that? And because it's a little bit wet, it just like wants to roll. I'm going to do that to all of them. All right, so I'm going to add just a teeny bit more um, paper to my very center, just because I feel like it's not quite tight enough with just a little bit of scrap. So get this wet. Roll in, hopefully tighter little roll. A little bit better of a spiral there. What? Stick that right in there. It's a little bit better of a, but more spiral in there. Alrighty then. Now it's time to add our other petals. Our double. We're gonna start with our double petals. Oops. Switch from water back to gum glue. We just got the base wet and we're going to continue wrapping around. You see how the petals are a little bit more open now that we've rolled the edges. Try and alternate where the petals end up laying so that they don't, they're not too repetitive. You can see these these dry really fast. Like basically by the time you're done with one thing, the next thing's ready and dried. So you're able to go pretty fast. So we got our little half done rows here. So far, so good. And I'm just pinched down my little excess right here. I'm kind of holding on to. So I got that going on. And now we're going to, you guessed it, add on our secondary petals. So we're just going to add gum glue all the way around the base. And just start gluing them on. I right, just overlap them like so. Well, there you have it, our rose. Now I could add like another layer of petals if I wanted to. I'm actually gonna push these inner petals out a little bit. You can add another layer of petals if you want to make this fuller, but this is basically done, you know, as far as how full the rose normally is for me. And then the same way that we did before, I'm going to 
insert our little skewer here. Take our floral tape. Start wrapping that around. So now I can, um, I can actually airbrush this if I wanted to give it a little bit of color or I could go in with my petal dust and uh, give it some color or you can leave it white. So here's my finished rose and I'm just gonna dust it with a little bit of airbrush. So now I have a pink rose. Uh, and then the very last thing I want to show you guys is some foliage, some little leaves that you can use to put with your with your um, your flowers if you want to add a little bit more depth. And the way that I do this is I actually take my um, my uh, wafer paper and I actually lightly airbrush to this. That's um, what seems the easiest for me but you can also just make white ones and then color it with a little bit of the, the petal dust, but in green, just with like a little paintbrush and stuff. And that works just as good. So the way that we make the leaves is take a little bit of our floral wire and I'm just gonna fold, fold this in half and I'm going to Cut a leaf shape. Like that it doesn't have to be perfect. And just get this wet. Nice little light coating. And just sandwich those two guys together. And that just holds the wire in place. The other way you can do it is if you have a hard time getting those to line up is you can take your folded piece of paper and before you cut it, get it wet like this. Take your floral wire, press that down that so that it's sandwiched in between and then you can cut your leaf and this might make it a little bit easier for you now you can kind of you know twist it and give it some life if you want to while it dries and then you can attach these to your flowers by just going like this and just wrapping on some more floral tape. And now you have a little, a little leaf on your rose. So we've got our rose and we've got our anemone and we've got our little filler flowers. We can put, you could put these filler flowers on, on um, skewers too, like if you wanted to make a bouquet. And other flowers, so you can make like a beautiful little paper, edible paper bouquet. Just like that. Oh my gosh, it's so dark now. It's like no light on my face. I apologize for the look of my face now. <laughs> uh, so, Hopefully you guys enjoyed that wafer paper tutorial and you feel a little bit less terrified of wafer paper. It's so cheap. I got like a package of 100 sheets for I think $11 off of Amazon. So you can't beat that. And another thing I wanted to show you guys is how um, uh, it can kind of make things go further. So if you don't wanna make like a bazillion sugar flowers, um, 
this can kind of, you can use wafer paper as sort of like a filler flour. So I'm gonna show you a cake that I made um, with a combination of sugar flowers and wafer paper flowers. And that is right here. This is my black and white cake that I made for a bridal show. And all of these uh, flowers here, I mean, I've got some, some that are sugar, this hydrangea and these berries are, um, you know, gum paste. And then these little tulips are gum paste. But I filled in the center part with the peonies, or I mean, gosh, I keep calling them peonies. The, um, the anemones, anemones, so that I didn't have to make as many uh, sugar flowers. Sorry, I bumped the camera there. But um, it's quite a massive cake. So it uh, saved me some time there. Ignore my messy kitchen background. So, there you have it. Uh, wafer paper tutorial. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for donating to Patreon. Link right there in the corner, just in case you have not decided to become a patron yet and you were just like, dang, that was so good. I'm gonna go tip Liz a dollar right now. Keep making videos, Liz, good job. I can hear you, I can hear you, thank you, thank you. So, hopefully this will be the first of many, many videos discussing many cool topics and extended, you know, information. And I love you guys, thank you for continuing to watch, and we'll see you next time. I'm Elizabeth Merrick, and this is Sugar Geek Show.